long, as Becky Burley said in her opening comments, is take care of the details. Make sure that they show the great and determination that they have done in this game so far. And make sure that they take care of those little things and they should be successful because when they have done that in the first 45 minutes, they've got into their attacking half and they've been dangerous creating those two goal scoring opportunities. So for the Gators getting the start in the second half, Madison Alexander up top, also Sarah Tricoli in the midfield. You have Tess Zipone, Parker Roberts, Laís Adaruju, and Sammy Betters also in the midfield on the back line. It's Sarah Wilson, Karina Baltrip Reyes, Rachel Smith, and Julia Lester for the Florida Gators as UCLA will attack left to right, Florida right to left, no score, 15 seconds in to the second half. Of course, re-entering for UCLA, Ashley Sanchez up top for the Bruins. Trying to remain undefeated, coming in 2-0, coming off an impressive win against third-ranked Penn State on the road. As they'll have one more game left on this East Coast road trip at Florida State on Sunday, and then they will head back home, take on Pepperdine. Here's Sammy Betters wide left in the defensive half, rolls it back to Julia Lester with the left foot. Her service cut off by Dumpy, dips it up this natural grass surface to Ashley Sanchez. Here's it right of center, Mary Canales. And UCLA, nothing on frame in that first half. Without Haley Mace, without Jesse Fleming, two first team All Americans. Here's Canales, center of the field. Amidst the clutter, Rachel Smith taps it away for Sarah Tricoli, had a head of steam. Gets it inside the center circle to Madison Alexander. And the pass from Tricoli didn't have enough. Spice on it to get to Alexander, so Alexander could use the ball. Something I've known from noticed from UCLA that Dunphy and Peterson on the outside are trying to get further forward from their attacking back positions. Sanchez right of center outside the 18. Sonny Dunphy with the cross from right to left. Pinballs inside the 18. Hernandez can't spin and fire one on frame as it deflects away and it's cleared away by the Gators. Putting those two players further up the pitch and out wider is going to stretch the back line of Florida. The bank of four, the bank of five are going to have to find a way to mark those players, stop them from getting the ball. Here's Dumpy, right flank, one of the penalty box. Laís gets a right foot in there and slowly rolls across the touch line for a deep UCLA throw in. Active early in the second half is Dumpy on the right flank who will throw in. Throws it, skitters inside the 18. A one-time shot saved by Marquise. It looked like getting the right foot on it. Might have been Mary Carmen Reyes amidst the clutter with the right foot. Marquise saved it, lunging towards her right. Nice save from Marquise. Wasn't the hardest of shots that she'll ever face. But she had to make sure of her footwork and her handling. Laís's long service to Alexander in the final third, taken away by UCLA, who repossesses in a scoreless match. Got the best opportunity for UCLA on that prior trip from Reyes. Nice save from Kaylin Marquise. Trying to find her 23rd career shutout. Right now nestled third all time on the career list for shutouts at the University of Florida. This Kaylin senior season from St. Petersburg, Florida. Redirecting positioning for UCLA, it's Dumpy. Sammy Betters comes over and kicks it out across the touchline. Dumpy will promptly throw in for Ashley Sanchez. And by the outside back, Julia Lester steps in front of Sanchez and rolls across the end line. The defensive job from Julia Lester sets up the Florida goal kick. I'd like to see Julia Lester start playing defense instead of trying to referee. It's appealing for the throw in. In the end, she did a nice job getting back goal side defensively, shepherding that ball out for the piece of goal kick. And hesitates on the ball and sends it out to this near sideline for betters. Tough call for betters to deal with, though. Cycle back towards Julia Lester. Arc towards Lai, seeing the start in the second half. Mel Montiuguto did jog out of the locker room. She played 11 minutes, did Mel in the first half, was injured, laying down flat on her back, was able to get off the field under her own power, but she's back on the sideline but not out there to start the second half. Looked good jogging back as well. She limped off the field under the help of Tony Andrews, the athletic trainer, but jogged back to the bench and looked pretty relaxed as I look at her on Florida's sideline right now. 
Jumping from foot to foot. Team that already has lost Kit Lefersky for the season. Sonny Dumphy, a shot from distance, hits off the back of Ashley Sanchez. Dangles loose for Parker Roberts. And Dumphy's got a really big right foot. Shape for the shot as Florida just backed off at their peril. That one's going to hurt for Ashley Sanchez tomorrow. Square on the back. Free kick coming up for Florida in a scoreless match. Five minutes into the second half. Again, Parker Roberts redirecting from far to near. Betters taps it to Laiz. Brilliant back hill service. It's Betters. Left side into the attacking half. Long chip balls. Too strong for Alexander. And skitters on this natural grass surface to Tegan Micah, who whips it out for UCLA. Frustrating that the pass went straight to the goalkeeper, Micah, but I like the thought from Betters. Good combination with Araruju getting the ball into the attacking yeah. half quickly. He's got to ex execute that final pass as Betters. Long ball ahead, it's Julia Hernandez in the far corner. Sarah Wilson hovering defensively towards the top of the 18. Slide towards center by a Bruin as Lester will clear. It's Mary Carmen Reyes who slid it towards the top of the 18. Sonny Dumpy, diagonal ball towards the back post. Looking for someone to go on a run with Sanchez, headed it towards the spot. Some contact inside the 18 and Roberts will get it out of danger. Not only is she a good player, she's got soccer intelligence as well. Sanchez with a wonderful <laughs> header back across the penalty area. And on the ensuing possession, the second phase, she makes a good cross. Marquise has to punch it clear. Shot from distance from Canales, deflected away towards Marquise. So Kayla Marquise has stood strong for the first half and about seven minutes gone by here in the second. Oh, they were a little lucky on that UCLA attack there because the midfielders were not tracking back very well. Parker Roberts was late arriving. Here's Sapone, errant service from Sarah Wilson. Delaney Sheehan promptly has it taken away from Sapone and an easy whistle from the official. Free kick for Florida. I like that from Sheehan right at the halfway line. That's a tactical foul. Something that Florida might want to learn a thing or two from. Turn the ball over cheaply at the halfway line and throw your player to the ground. You do it smartly. You can slow things down and allow your team to get defensive shape. Laiz towards Betters, left side of the penalty area. Back to Laiz with the right foot, bends one back post and curls wide. Well, we have a great angle on that shot. And Ruju, she can put the spin on the ball. And that missed the upper right-hand corner as we look at the goal by a whisker. Great work from Florida. And it was all started by the great defensive effort at the halfway line from Tess Sapone. Winning the ball back, then getting the possession cleanly on the free kick. Florida taking it quickly, working it up this near sideline. Betis found her teammate. And Adaruji just couldn't quite turn it on frame. That would have been a special goal from Laiz. Again, continues to amaze in certain sequences. Ball played ahead for Julie Hernandez. Marquise all the way out. And Power shoots it from right to left center of the field. Chopped down was in the area of Madison Alexander as Karina Rodriguez was there defensively for the Bruins. Bruins in all white, Gators in all blue. Gators have the fusion of orange on the front side of the uniform with the Florida Capitol script in white. The white numerals on the front and the back. Here's Kaya McCullough going the distance from the back line. Falls down and turns it over towards Sammy Betters. Now it's Lester on the other end. Julia Lester right to left near side. One of the fastest on this team. Can't maneuver around Hernandez and plays it towards center for Sheehan. Lester just needed to put a head down, put it into space and chase that ball. Great work from Hernandez to get back defensively. UCLA getting their first shot on frame in the second half. Three shots for Florida after that bending ball from Laís Adaruchu. Here's Lester. Towards Sapone, angle back to Parker Roberts. Redirects right side, Tricoli. You just it up hear the crispness of that pass there yeah. from Sapone. Has a different sound to it when the ball is played with enough authority. 
can hear this crowd trying to cheer on Florida, trying to end a two-game losing streak. It's Sammy Betters on the left flank. Betters inside the 18, too much on it for Alexander. And there was the offside flag up anyway. Amber O'Connor, the referee, gives a thumbs up to the assistant on the far sideline, saying, good job, I saw the flag, but we'll let play continue from the hands of the goalkeeper, Deacon Micah. And this is the start of first of two against Pac-12 opponents. Skaters did play one Pac-12 opponent to start the year. The Washington Huskies were down one nothing at halftime. Put away two unanswered in the second 45. On the other end for UCLA, is J.C. Peterson trying to attack inside the 18. Skaters were back defensively. Sarah Wilson just beaten by the skip of the ball off the surface there, covered by Rachel Smith. And then Wilson did a really good job of getting wide into the right fullback position to receive the pass from Rachel Smith. Florida now trying to start things going with Julia Lester on the ball, passing it up to Betters. Betters turns it over but gets it back. Stepping in front was Dumpy. Left of center, Roberts. Upfield to Laiz. Curls it towards the pone, fights off a defender, chips it in the air. In the area is Betters, left side of the 18. And tapped out by Kaya McCullough, clear towards the midline. Now Sheehan does parachute it away from Lester. Some hand fighting between Roberts and Hernandez. Bruins off and running. Carmen Reyes miss hit that one. Sanchez had some green grass in front. Florida repossesses. Some good covering tackles right now from both teams. McAuliffe there in the back line for UCLA. Also seeing some good defensive play. We're seeing some poor passes being made by both squads when it really matters. Time it was Sanchez trying to turn the corner on Smith along the end line. Still no score. 33 and a half minutes left for the second. Sapone eyes up and delivers it wide of Tricoli. You can sense the frustration on Sarah's face as that one just went over the right cleat. Pair of substitutions coming in for UCLA is Kennedy Faulkner. Brianna Solis will come in and take out Tess Sapone, who really had some good minutes early in the second half. Well, hopefully, this is just to give Sapone a little bit of rest here because she has played really, really well tonight, particularly in the first 12 minutes of this second half. Yeah, Sapone played 57 minutes on Sunday against Oklahoma State. Scored one goal last year. Game against Troy. In her, that was the second game of the year. Gainesville, former Virginia Gatorade Player of the Year. Gators in the defensive half with possession. Brianna Solis newly checked in. Anna Cromwell has changed things up defensively. She's moved Peterson over to this near sideline, trying to shore up UCLA right flank. As Betters, Araujo, and Lester have had not a free reign of it down this near sideline, but they've been dangerous down their Gator left wing. Kennedy Faulkner at that left outside back spot for the Bruins. 2015 was the U-17 Canadian National Player of the Year. Great defensive shape from Florida. Now it's Adaruju right to left in the defensive half. Sheehan had won the ball back in midfield for UCLA. A lovely little Maradona turn. Just getting into the attacking third. Saw Sanchez, but the defensive shape of Florida just closed down the passing lane. Ball trap Reyes won the ball back easily. Florida not able to get the ball over their halfway line. Vic Campbell strolling along the sideline in frustration at the moment. I don't think I've seen Vic stand as much as he has early this year. Last year we saw Vic upstairs with the Bluetooth device, that being a part of something that you could utilize as a coaching staff last year, but Vic staying on the sidelines this year. UCLA and they're attacking half. It's Olivia Athens. Ashley Sanchez looking for Faulkner on a run wide left. Wilson there defensively. The cross towards the penalty spot is drop kicked away by Rachel Smith towards Carmen Reyes. Here's Sheehan, Lai steps in front. She's had a great defensive night. As it goes across the touch line, last touch. J.C. Peterson in UCLA. Florida will throw in in their defensive half. Good patience from Adaruju. Stood tall, stood strong. Didn't get on her heels, which is something that she does do on occasion. 
Made a strong challenge, wins the ball back and gets the throw into boot. JC Peterson and Laiz off the throw and tangled up, foul called on Peterson. Talked a lot about Ashley Sanchez and what she's done being all around the field for UCLA. And you mentioned earlier, JC Peterson really has had a solid night in that defensive back line. JC Peterson, the junior, one of nine returning starters for UCLA. Here's Sheehan off the turnover. Olivia Athens fans it out wide for Sheehan, goes off her cleats and goes out. Feels like these two teams could start a bakery, the amount of turnovers there's been tonight. Sense fatigue settling in at all on a humid night like this? Probably is to a point. And just the tension of playing a nil-nil game. Two quality opponents going at each other. Good soccer being played by both teams. Foul by Wilson on that far sideline. Faulkner will take the free kick, I believe. Mary Carmen Reyes, the one who was knocked down. Reyes will redirect towards Peterson. So scoreless, 29-15 and churning for the second. Peterson towards Hernandez, back to frame, looking for Sheehan. That one behind her and over the touchline. Pona's earned her rest. She's back at the scorer's table, checking in. You call it, Matt. It was quick rest for Tess Sapone, who was doing a good job facilitating out of the midfield early in the second half. Florida will throw in. Tess Sapone will come back in, allowed to re-enter in the second half. Will come in for Sarah Tricoli. Annika Rodriguez steps on for UCLA. Olivia Athens comes out. Haven't seen that long ball up against the back line of UCLA in the second half from Florida. They were successful in the first 45 minutes. And you see that from the Gators. With the clearances, as that one from Marquise is intercepted by Sheehan. They have to be better. Not a great clearance from Marquise. Top of the 18 goes left side for Reyes. Chips it over the crossbar. And a sliding effort. Sapone was there defensively, but all started on that poor clearance from Marquise. One of the reasons Marquise is out there is because her distribution skills, and that was a poor example of her ability that she has to make sure that that ball goes up and out of the defensive half for Florida. And if it doesn't, it has to go to a blue shirt. No scoreless. Thanks for listening on the Gator IMG Sports Network, watching wherever you may be on the SEC Network Plus. Florida and UCLA, Bruins second in the nation, Gators 22nd in the nation. Dropping from that fifth ranking after being swept last weekend. First time losing back-to-back -back games since last year. Only happened once a season ago. Roberts can't find Laiz along the near touchline. But again, Gators have not lost three straight since 2002 season. It's the first time UCLA is in Gainesville. You have to go back to the 2000 season. Most of the matchups in the all-time series, seven of them have been played out west. Off the throw in Rachel Smith on the back line. It's chipped back towards defensive third. Or it's angled towards Kaylin Marquise. Dangerous positioning for Florida's Roberts redirects once again. Good service for Sarah Wilson. Or it's Tess Sapone deflected away. It's Ashley Sanchez trying to move forward, tripped up by Reyes. There was no whistle. Gators able to get it towards their attacking half. Laiz, not a good touch for betters along the near side. Amber O'Connor there, gesturing with the mime that all referees learn at referee school that the whole ball was won in the tackle. That's a shame there. Tassapone's pass was not a good one. He was a little bit underserved from the initial pass, but great touch from Mataruju to find some space. Great shoulder shake from Laiz, who promptly gets knocked down. Again, no whistle. J.C. Peterson on the defensive charge. Laiz almost put the Gators up earlier in the second half with the bending ball that just curled wide of the back post. Still scoreless. It's Roberts left of center. Right footed service to Solis. Angles it back to Betters left flank with their eyes up. Taps it towards Roberts. Roberts again a long redirection from near to far. 
Tapped down by Wilson. Too much heat off the cleat. And UCLA and Faulkner will charge forward left to right. Alexander and Sapone have to read that long pass there from Roberts. Understand that the player that is going to receive that ball may have a missed touch, which is exactly what happened. Or they may want to try and one-time that ball back into the middle of the pitch and find themselves available. But neither player moved to that far sideline. and something that needs to improve. Thais Adaruju again. Really an open field move off a tight spin. Betters plays it for Solis amidst two Bruins. Bodies along the touchline. And whose possession will it be? Going to be Florida possession as Brittany Bennett comes in. Takes out Brianna Solis, who again can re-enter in this second half. So have Alexander up top for Florida. Sapone, Laiz, Brittany Bennett, Parker Roberts, and Sammy Betters in the midfield. Still the same back line of Wilson, Reyes, Smith, and Lester. Sarah Wilson, long arching ball wide of Alexander. Kaya McCullough has it on the back line. Now Rouge has been moved up in partnership with Alexander, trying to stretch the back line of the Bruins. Now Rouge, left flank, angling towards the touchline. Loosely met by two defenders. Slides it towards the right for Sapone. Now it's Roberts, the Kansas transfer, has it prodded free by Annika Rodriguez. Here's Hernandez off and running. Julia Hernandez into the attacking half for Ashley Sanchez, goes past her right cleat and cut off by Julia Lester. Ball works through from Betters towards Alexander. McCullough's there to cut off Alexander. Official on that far sideline missed that one, even though Alexander didn't get to that ball. She was in an offside position when it was played. That was great work from Roberts. She got caught in two minds again. You've got to make a decision. At this level, you can't hesitate on the ball. UCLA are too good. They'll close you down too quickly. A great job from Roberts, though. Even though she turned it over, she just knuckled down, put her head down, and got back defensively beautifully. Both teams incredibly individually gifted coming into this matchup tonight. Gators without Deanne Rose. As we have a whistle, free kick right of center for UCLA. Whistle on Parker Roberts. Both Deanne Rose and Jesse Fleming, teammates on the Canadian national team. They're not here tonight. Gators have almost, at this point, gotten used to not playing with Deanne Rose, who only played in the opener against Washington. Foley getting ready to check back in. Lindley miking her way to the scorer's table. Free kick comes in from UCLA. Rodriguez on the header after Rodriguez served it in. There's a Towards the back post, the header moved towards Marquise, who easily tracks it down. Well, defensive struggle, as most would expect coming in. Still scoreless, 22 minutes left. Off the turnover, it's Ashley Sanchez. Delaney Sheehan looked to step into one with the right foot, bangs it off the shins of Lester, goes out across the near touchline. Tricoli comes back in, will re-enter, take out Laiz. Cassidy Lindley, the freshman, will take out the sophomore, Madison Alexander. As Chloe Castaneda uh, comes in, will take out Ashley Sanchez, who also will re-enter at some point for UCLA. J.C. Peterson to throw in. Here's Canales. George Sheehan closed out by Sapone. Rodriguez, top of the 18. It's Carmen Reyes. Her shot deflected away towards the corner. Goes out for a deep throw in. So Matt, Florida from half one to half two. Have you seen any difference from what you saw in the first 45? Well, the defensive presence is still there. They need to do a better job to Florida of taking care of the ball in important areas of the pitch. And as they concede the corner kick. Rodriguez plays it off the cleats of betters. I think still defensively, Florida will be very satisfied if they're able to maintain this performance. The UCLA are slowly 
surely putting their foot down on the accelerator. And Florida are getting more and more on their back foot. This is the third corner for UCLA. So no corners yet for Florida. Peters guarding that short corner as Canales hovers around the corner, taken by Rodriguez with the right foot towards the back post, punched away by Marquise. On the second effort, Carmen Reyes deflects high in the air, and that will go out. That's a great punch from Marquise, but the way Florida set up defensively on corner kicks, they don't have anybody at the top of the box to make, have a possession or a position at the top of the 18 to find a way to get those balls and pump them further up the pitch away from Florida's defensive third. So back-to-back -back corners for UCLA. Rodriguez will take again. Bodies hover near the penalty spot. Here's the right-footed service towards the near post, headed just wide. Looked like it was Julia Hernandez who redirected. And now they'll say, did it clip off of a gator? It did, so another corner coming up for the Bruins. Wonderfully industrial runs from UCLA, getting in good positions along the top of the six. Not sure who it clipped off for Florida, but that was a good open header for UCLA. Florida, can they weather this storm of three set pieces in a row? It's Rodriguez again, it will take. Still scoreless. Three-step approach, sweep of the right leg. Towards the top of the six, headed out, top of the 18, shot deflected away. It's Carmen Reyes with the right foot. Couldn't get it through the massive bodies, and UCLA will set up deeper in their attacking half. Concentration now for the second phase after the set piece. Right of the area, Rodriguez sifting towards her left. Good defense from Lester, who slides in front. Ricoli with the right foot. Four yeah. clips it towards center in the middle third. J.C. Peterson. Turns it over towards Cassidy Lindley. And the Gators settle on the back line. Still scoreless. And the Gators weather that storm of the flurry of set pieces from UCLA. Five corners on the night for the Bruins. None for the Gators. Good defensive set there from Florida. What's exciting for me, no matter what happens tonight, I'm seeing improvement from game to game in important aspects of the way Florida are playing, one of which is set pieces. You go back to the FAU game, they conceded two goals, one directly from a set piece, one from the second or third phase after a corner. So it's an important thing that Florida has fixed coming into tonight's action. And that was a big talking point after weekend number one was defense on set pieces. Meanwhile, the Gators, last time out against Oklahoma State, they had nine corners tonight. They'll have yet to have an opportunity. Meanwhile, the Bruins now did not have a shot going into half, have six in the second half. Here's Canales right of center at the midline. Rolls it upfield, Rodriguez moving forward, trying to slide past Rachel Smith, and Sammy Betters touches it back to a Bruin. As Castaneda plays it deeper in the corner, Marquis able to clear for a UCLA throw-in. <laughs> Georgia Eaton Collins comes in for the first time tonight. Courtney Douglas played four minutes in the first half, will come in. As Wilson and Betters will exit. Eaton Collins saw the start against Oklahoma State on Sunday. Important minutes now for Eaton Collins and for Courtney Douglas. They have to make sure they take care of business and get the ball to a blue shirt. They have to complete their passes. Sanchez towards the right end line with the right foot, crosses from right to left, left footed clearance from Tricoli. Arcs towards Sanchez who knocks it down and redirects to J.C. Peterson right flank. Whips it towards center, Canales. Now it's Karina Rodriguez stepping in front, Brittany Bennett, who started the year injured. Diagonal ball played inside the 18 by Peterson as Marquise comes out, makes the catch and a collision in the process. With Mary Carmen Reyes. So we hit nail biting time. Final 16 minutes of regulation. Tricoli lofts it ahead for Cassidy Lindley. Lindley trying to operate around an offender as McCullough clears it and slides it away towards Peterson. And it's Peterson who lifts it across the midline. Wonderful ball played forwards. Both players got turned around by the service. McCullough did really well defensively. Lindley was unlucky it didn't fall kindly for her. 
Here's ball trip Reyes, and the Gators coming off an overtime game on Sunday. Is there another one in their future tonight? Gators trying to end it in regulation. Tricoli, service for Sapone. It's cut off by Karina Rodriguez. It's Haley Lauer gets set to check in for Florida. What a win tonight would do for Florida confidence-wise after the 2-0 start. Back-to-back -back losses this past weekend. Again, had a statement win against a Pac-12 team on this field last year. It was number one, Stanford. As Florida will throw in. Missed play by Faulkner on that far sideline. Douglas has the ball. Be a quick respite for Roberts stepping out. She's played really well tonight as well. Her passes have been by far the crispest of this Gator team. So Parker Roberts, who has such a high motor, such a workhorse for this team, will come out. Most likely not for long. Taylor Lauer comes into the midfield. Courtney Douglas throws in far side, middle third. Gators just inside their attacking half in a scoreless match, 14-15 left. Becky Burley showing a lot of confidence in her bench tonight, putting some players in a tough spot. Trusting them to do the job. Here's Rodriguez with speed, center of the field. Right footed service inside the 18. Ball loose, scooped up by Marquise. It was Julia Hernandez on the run and had a collision with Reyes. Dangerous moment for the Gators. Long service ahead from Collins. Didn't have enough on it as Rodriguez got ahead on it. How important was the footwork from Corina Rodriguez there? Lindley was in. McAuliffe was beat, but the number eight got across really well. Headed that ball out of the danger area. Second time, last few minutes, that Lindley looked like she's had a step on a defender on a run towards the 18. Here's Tricoli, right of center, and missed a double. Keeps possession, taps it towards Lauer. Back to Tricoli, who bends it near left. It's Georgia Eaton Collins, the freshman. Aaron Pass is easily collected by Dumphy. Smith keeps it in the attacking end. Tricoli towards Lindley. Ball is loose. Lindley just wide. Oh, so close. The keeper was out. And Lindley, oh, so close to giving the Gators a lead. A wonderful moment for Florida. Tricoli with the ball up the middle channel. Lindley, I didn't think she was ever going to get there. But at the moment, last moment, the freshman grew an extra inch. A big toe touched the ball. And if you thought Adarujo's shot that curled just past the upper right-hand post was close, that was even closer from the freshman. About as close as you can get for the freshman who scored in similar fashion in her first collegiate goal against Florida Atlantic. Keeper was out and the net was empty. That one tapped just wide of the near left post. And we remain scoreless with 12 minutes left. Long ball played ahead for Sheehan towards the final third. Ball loose to ball trip Reyes. Dangerous positioning, circles it out. It's Courtney Douglas at the right outside back possesses. Whips it upfield to Brittany Bennett. Seen some big minutes in this second half. Off the bench for Becky Burley. Becky Burley and Amanda Cromwell, the first two female head coaches to win national championships in women's soccer, facing off here tonight. There's only been three in the history of the sport. Georgia Eaton College service redirected by Sonny Dumphy towards the center of the field. Still in the UCLA defensive third. I don't know what Tess Sapone had for her pregame meal, but she needs to be served it every game. She's really played well tonight all over the pitch. Ton of energy. Right flank, Castaneda. Angling left towards center, Castaneda with green grass. The left foot, the shot is saved by Marquise. That one had some pace on it, and Marquise corralled. Great movement from Hernandez up front. Opened up a huge hole for Casananeda. 
They step into it with the shot. Tested the goalkeeper, Marquise. Good footwork from the senior to get across to her right to make a nice save. Foul against UCLA as Rachel Smith goes to the deck. Free kick coming up for Florida. Final 10 and a half of the second. And still scoreless. Two big moments for Florida. Bending ball from Laís Adaruju just wide of the far post. And moments ago, Cassidy Lindley on a run. Tapped it just wide with the keeper out. Here's Haley Lauer with momentum forward. And nobody on a run towards the wide side of the field left as Collins was trailing. But nobody home and UCLA will throw in. Good thought, but the execution of the pass, too ambitious. Hernandez met by Collins and Sapone, who lofts it towards the attacking half. Sapone spearing through, and a foul is called. And again, the continued great play from Tess Sapone tonight. Sets up a free kick for Florida. No matter what happens tonight for Florida, Tess Sapone should be carried from the field. She has played a real yeoman's effort tonight. Now a good opportunity at a set piece. George Eaton Collins will take in a scoreless match with 9.15 left. Three-step approach, bending ball top of the 18 is headed out. Wide side left towards Eaton Collins. Dribbles forward, taps it left. Sonny Dumphy steps in front, can't clear as she whips with the right foot. There Eaton Collins just needs to read the run of the players. There's Lindley moving into UCLA's right back position there. Three players went with her. Eaton Collins needs to read the movement of the defense, step into the channel, pull it to her right foot, and cross it in to the back post area there. Meanwhile, Parker Roberts comes back in along with Laís Adaruchu, presumably, presumably for the final eight and a half minutes of regulation. Here's Laís Adaruchu, the talented 1v1 Brazilian player. Along the end line, Laís centers off. The header clears it away. Laís able to maneuver out of a trap defensively set up from UCLA, but nobody home for Florida, and UCLA on the counterattack. Well, she's a talented 1v1 player, but on that occasion, she was a talented 1v4. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up with that amount of skill that Adarujo displayed there. Here's Riccoli left to the 18. Gators controlling possession in the final third. Have four shots tonight. Tricoli towards the end line, centers off, and Micah out to scoop it up. Nicely done by the goalkeeper. Lindley needs to read the run of Tricoli, find a way to get across the face of the goalkeeper. Douglas was trying, but she was too far away to be effective. Here's Sapone. Slides it up wide for Lindley. Ball loose, Sapone charging through. Sapone near the 18, deflects it deep towards the corner, but it will be a deep throw in, and Sapone playing at a different energy level. Right now for Florida. Substitution for UCLA, Annika Rodriguez comes in. Sapone has shown moments of this brilliance throughout her career, but it's been too brief and too inconsistent. If she can keep this up, the junior, Will be a star player for Florida this season. Been brilliant tonight. Junior from Oakton, Virginia. Former Virginia Gatorade Player of the Year. Still no score. 6.45 left. UCLA left to right. Sonny Dumphy plays it past Laís Adaruju. Battle of two titans in college soccer. This the third of seven straight games Florida will play against teams that were in the NCAA tournament a year ago. UCLA in the title game a year ago and lost by a lone goal. The final third, Bruins possess. Courtney Douglas there defensively. Douglas towards the corner, taps it out. Good job from Douglas, not jumping in, being patient. You almost hear the coaches thinking to themselves, no foul, no foul. Monica Rodriguez out there for UCLA. Here's Canales. Lost a shot. Roberts taps it free. 
Aruju waving to her teammates, asking them to come up defensively with her. Here's Canales. Now gives way, shot off the right foot of Hernandez. He's easily scooped up by Marquise. So with five and a half left, hit the final moments here in Gainesville. Haters trying to avoid back-to-back -back overtime games, want to win it in regulation. Here's Sanchez. Cuts out right inside the 18. Back to the frame, spins around Eaton Collins towards the end line. Brilliant move, but the left foot will deliver wide of the back post. Now Florida have Adarujo, UCLA have Sanchez. Brilliant moves in the box from number two of the Bruins. The left footed shot, though, was not up to the magic that went before. Tricoli steps back out of the game. That will be her last action in regulation. He subbed out twice in this second half, so reinsert Madison Alexander. Ambitious ball across by Courtney Douglas. It finally gets to the feet of Eaton Collins, but you don't want square balls like that. Played across the back line at any point in a match, but this time, never. Alexander ahead for Lindley and a brilliant defensive slide away for UCLA. And will go out for a Florida corner. Arena Rodriguez again on the sliding tackle. She had a great moment on a header about 10 minutes ago, but that was even better. So this is a great opportunity for Florida on the set piece. It's Cassidy Lindley who will take from the far right. Crowd on its feet in a scoreless match. 3.45 left. Bodies hover near the penalty spot. The approach from Lindley with the right foot. And that sails over everything and out of play. Well, that was deflating. Miss hit from Cassidy Lindley as everyone sits back down. Much prefer an in-swinging corner kick. Lindley there with the outside of the right boot. Just puts it straight over the byline for the goal kick. First corner of the night for Florida. Here's Kaya McCullough. She's had a very good night on the defensive back line. Also, Sonny Dumpy, J.C. Peterson have really stood out for UCLA tonight. Karina Rodriguez with what could have been a game-saving play moments ago that eventually led to that Florida corner. Sonny Dumpy on the right flank. Dumphy angling left, protected by Roberts back to Dumphy, and redirects to Rodriguez. Adarujo and Roberts, unlucky for Florida. They've been in good position defensively from Dumphy. But Dumphy's the one that got the members bounced on those two occasions. Athens plays it in towards Sanchez. Lester there defensively towards the end line. The chip cross, it's still loose and cleared away. <laughs> UCLA still does possess. It's Rodriguez who delivers wide of the left post. Citricoli is coming back into the game. I thought she was done for the night. But she's replacing Tess Sapone. That is the surprise substitution, the way Sapone has played in this game. Maybe get some extra rest in accepting the fact that this game is going to go into overtime. Here's Roberts, slowly rolls it back towards Marquise. Minute 45 left in the second half. Now it's Laiz. Gators trying to win it. The final 90 seconds and change. It's looking more and more like back-to-back -back games heading to overtime for Florida. It was a 1-0 loss on Sunday at Oklahoma State in the 103rd minute. This is a UCLA team that did win their first home game of the season in the 90th. Here's Sanchez. Left flank in the final third. Sanchez chips it off the head of Rachel Smith. It's cleared away by the right foot of Courtney Douglas. Final minute five left. Monica Rodriguez, right flank. Whips it out wide right. J.C. Peterson towards the end line with the right foot. Goes near post, leaping catch by Kaylin Marquez. And not a great 
clearance for Marquise, and the shot deflected away by Ashley Sanchez. She rolled the ball off of a player in the area, and it stayed in the area. Sanchez could not find the empty alleyway for a goal. Well, credit Marquise with the save, but I've heard of padding your stats, but that was ridiculous. Marquise has got to take better care. Shot from distance, comes off the right foot of Fernandez. Marquise there again. Besides a, a few clear, clearing bl blunders for Kaylin Marquise, it's been overall a good night. UCLA now 11 shots on the match. Five saves for Marquise as we hit the final five seconds left in regulation. And we are heading to overtime in this top 25 showdown between the Gators and the Bruins. Second straight match for Florida that will head to an extra session. And we'll try to find a better fate this time around on this Friday night here in Gainesville against the number two team in the land in UCLA. We'll step aside and we return. We'll have overtime here in Gainesville, scoreless between Florida and UCLA on the Gator IMG Sports Network. Back to the dog show. Up next, we have Satchmo. Satchmo is a member of the Shelter Pet Group. That's right, a group known especially for their couch snuggling, ball chasing, face licking, and of course, companionship. Now, let's see him in action. Look how he makes eye contact with his person. That's actually known as the heat stare. Intuitive, and now he appears to be excitedly turning in circles. Ah, the happy dance will come in with this group. But really, the best way to know an amazing shelter pet like Satchmo is to meet one. Visit the shelterpetproject.org today. Adopt. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States, and the Ad Council. At least one in four businesses affected by a disaster, whether it's man-made or natural, never reopen. Can you sign this for me, please? Yet too many owners put off their company's disaster plan because they let too many day-to-day -day things get in the way. Disasters are unpredictable, so visit ready.gov to make your company's disaster plan. Ready.gov. It's never too late to protect your business until it is. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the Ad Council. Wayne Johnson here. The earthquakes you see in movies are one thing, but real life is a completely different animal. Just because you can't predict an earthquake doesn't mean that you can't prepare for one. In the event of a real earthquake, drop, cover, hold off. Visit Betty.com. Track what to do to keep you and your family safe in the event of a real earthquake. And you'll be seen as a hero by your family and your loved ones. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. <laughs> more adventure. Hey, America. You've got more food. Yet 17 million kids in America are struggling with hunger. Makes no sense. Well, America, why never getting it? Thank you. you enjoy your Can't do it. Oh. Back here in Gainesville, overtime matchup between Florida and UCLA. Both teams had their chances. 12 shots for UCLA in regulation to four for the Gators. And now we're just moments away from overtime. Gators, their second straight overtime match. Going back to Sunday, a loss in the 103rd minute to Oklahoma State. But, Matt, no better way to try and bounce back from that loss but try and get one here at home against the number two team in the land. That would be a great victory if Florida are able to pull this one out. Played really well tonight. They've taken on board the message from the coaches this week and have put it on display for all to see this evening. They're working together, playing for each other, and battling back and doubling down when they need to. Arguably, Florida have had the better of the chances. The two in the second half in particular from Araruju and Lindley came really close to breaching the UCLA goal. But for a moment of complete indiscretion from Kayla Marquise, right at the end of that second half where she 
essentially threw the ball straight to Sanchez of UCLA, and then came up with a really good save to block the ensuing shot. UCLA haven't really troubled Marquise too much, although the 12 shots that UCLA have in this match all came in the second half, six of which found the target for Marquise had to make the save on. So both teams out on the field as we get set for overtime. You thought between these two programs that it would come down to the final moments. We have two 10 minute overtime periods with the golden goal in effect. So if somebody scores, well, somebody wins. For the Gators out on the field, it's Dracoli, Alexander Sapone, Laiz Roberts, and then on the back line for the Gators, it's Collins, Lester, Smith, and Reyes. Bit of shifting on the back line. Lester moves to center back. And Reyes and e Collins out wide. Smith, the other center back as well. Interesting to see whether Florida do change the lineup tactically a little bit. They've been playing a 3-5-2 lineup in this match. Playing a four across the back, five across the midfield defensively. Well, Becky Burley goes more to a 4-1-4-1 lineup. Meanwhile, for UCLA, they have four in the back as well. Julie Hernandez playing up top, along with Ashley Sanchez. Ball lofted towards the final third. UCLA defending the goal towards our right. Florida defending the goal towards our left. And we are underway in overtime period number one. Again, two 10-minute overtime periods. Golden goal in effect. Last time these two teams met, it went to overtime. It was a 4-3 win for the Gators that came in the 96th minute. This is the third time in this all-time series that we've gone to an extra session. Kennedy Faulkner battling with Courtney Douglas, seen some good minutes tonight, tapped out by Douglas, and UCLA will throw in top of their attacking third. One of those was in 2001. Monica Hoyle scored the game winner in overtime. And I think it was the 108th minute to send Florida to the College Cup, the last time the Gators were there in 2001. A game in which Jordan Pelgrin set what was the save record for Florida Gators at the time. Here's Sanchez. Back towards McCullough across the midline. McCullough right footed chip service near side. Douglas will head it towards the touchline. Chested down by Kennedy Faulkner. Faulkner has it slid away by Roberts. Shot from Rodriguez deflected away. Towards Eaton Collins. And the Gators with a Bruin down. Looks like it's Rodriguez who's still down on the ground. Now it's Collins with long service near Madison Alexander who chested down. Alexander in the attacking half of Bruins still down towards our left. Alexander inside the 18, redirected by Karina Rodriguez towards the corner. Alexander has it knocked away. It stays in play along the touchline. Again, a Bruins still down in the Bruin final third. Sapone, a shot from distance, sails over the crossbar. And this will allow an opportunity for most likely a trainer to come out and attend on the injured Bruin. Marquise also going there to help out. Looks like the way Marquise is handling this, that it's a cramp. Castaneda is waiting to come in. It would have been fitting for Florida to finish the game on a Sapone shot the way she's played. Florida did not have to kick that ball out. Continued the attack. Number one Still an injury on the field, so... Not going to start play quite yet. It'll be Parker Roberts with the right foot. This one will in swing to the far side. Most likely a cramping situation for Annika Rodriguez. Florida have a drink for that. Yeah. Rodriguez slowly works herself towards the touchline. He's been in the mix of things all night. Had eight goals last year in her junior season. And once Rodriguez heads across the touchline, Roberts will get set to send this one in for a Gator corner. Attention. 
Roberts the approach, the bending ball. Towards the near post, top of the six, popped high in the air, stays inside the six, and it's redirected away over the end line. But we'll say last touch UCLA, so Roberts will get another shot at another corner. Roberts can swing this in with her leg, left peg. Be a good in-swinging corner kick from Parker Roberts. A goal ends it here in overtime number one. Still scoreless, Roberts with a left foot. Drills one near the penalty spot, chopped down by Courtney Douglas, can't get a right foot on it. And it's cleared away by Kennedy Faulkner towards ball trip Reyes. Gators now three corners on the match and promptly a turnover. Here's Ashley Sanchez. UCLA can get numbers if they hurry. Sanchez, left flank, met by Collins, who's back defensively. Sanchez moves right towards the penalty arc. Gives it away for Hernandez, slid away from behind by Tess Sapone. Who else? Now Smith and Sanchez collide, but Sapone clears. The Gators lost on Sunday after a turnover in their defensive end. That led to a goal in the 103rd minute. Game in which fatigue set in. Very hot conditions under the Oklahoma sun in that one nothing loss. Florida have to make sure they keep their shape defensively, not to get too flat, defend with a back line of six. Here's the cross from right to left towards the top of the six. And not being able to redirect is Delaney Sheehan with the header. Goes towards Faulkner, still in the final third. Near left, outside the penalty box, slid away by Parker Roberts. As Faulkner and Roberts grinding near the penalty box, goes over the end line, and UCLA will have a prime opportunity with a corner. Good defensive work from Parker Roberts there. I feel like I've said that a lot tonight. Good defensive work. And Roberts jogged out towards Faulkner, obviously under... A lot of fatigue with Roberts, but really great footwork to put that one out for the corner. Ashley Sanchez will take. Gators defending the short corner. Block is stopped as one of the players for UCLA is, I believe it's Sanchez, trying to do her shoelace up. Sanchez with the approach. Goes short inside the 18, played through. The shot is over the crossbar from Sheehan. Brilliant design from UCLA, almost won it. Straight off the practice ground, strong pass to the top of the 18. First player runs across it, dummies the ball. Second player coming in, takes the shot. Turnover by Rachel Smith. It's Athens ahead for Sanchez, but Lester taps it back towards Marquise. Gators have kept a good mindset during the week. They've used two words throughout the week of practice, grit and determination to get back on the winning track. They've used a lot of grit tonight defensively to buckle down 13 shots for UCLA, all coming after halftime. Brilliant job tonight by Kaylin Marquise. That six saves in goal for Florida. Turnover from ball trip Reyes at Sanchez for Casanayeta inside the 18. Bears up on Smith, plays it back to Sanchez. Met by Douglas. Sanchez moving right. And gets it out of danger and resets for UCLA. Ball played towards Athens. Now it's Canales. Jihan, who had the shot over the crossbar on the prior trip. Inside the final four minutes for overtime, number one. Ball played through Hernandez on a back heel attempt. Goes right towards Marquise. Now a long ball for Marquise towards Alexander. Right of center, Courtney Douglas. Chips it over Faulkner to Alexander. Triangle passing to Tricoli. Now it's Douglas out wide. Here's Courtney Douglas. Wide run of the 18, angling towards the corner, stops, pivots, plays it back towards Tricoli. Tricoli along the right touch line. Tricoli with a diagonal right-footed service, caught by Micah. 
talked a lot about what Marquise has done, but Mike has done a good job in frame for UCLA. Coming off a Pac-12 Keeper of the Week award. After picking up five saves against Penn State, fifth all-time in saves at UCLA with 161 coming into tonight. 16 get to fourth overall in the history of the Bruins. Also one win away from tying for fifth in career wins for UCLA. It was a good cross in from Tricoli there. I think Arugia was just nudged a little bit from Peterson. Through a, off a run, but Florida entering the attacking third with Lester. It's Lester, service towards center, deflected away by Marley Canales. A UCLA on the counterattack right to left on this natural grass surface. Was a wet track in the first half, has since dried out. We have not had rain since the warm ups. A couple of storms came through prior to opening kickoff tonight. The original start time was moved back a half an hour as the officials got caught in traffic on I-75 here in Gainesville. So that mixed up the routines for both of these teams. Sanchez towards center for Hernandez. Played back at Sheehan. Sheehan amidst the clutter. Brought it free by Laiz in Florida left to right with a Bruin down. Here's Tricoli left to right across the midline. It's Alexander. Has some space, rolls it back towards Roberts. Aaron first touch, keeps possession. Line drive service wide of Alexander, near side, goes across the touch line to the UCLA bench. Hernandez still remonstrating with the referee, Amber O'Connor, wondering where the foul was. I think Hernandez has a case. Here's Smith, the defensive third for Florida. How about the nights, the, the minutes tonight for Courtney Douglas, somebody who last year did not play often and seeing minutes in a big game. I'm going to say Becky Burley trusting her bench tonight. Courtney Douglas has been around the program a long time. This is a huge moment for her. There's Roberts in the defensive half. Towards ball trip, Reyes, the transfer addition from Florida International, missed all of last year with an injury. Goes wide towards Eaton Collins. Highly acclaimed freshman for Florida, coming over from England. It's McCullough and Alexander who wins it away. It's McCullough towards Karina Rodriguez on the defensive back line for UCLA. Final 25 seconds of overtime number one. We're scoreless. Mitchell Smith trying to organize the back line to get shape. She's not happy with what she's seen with her teammates around her. And Florida not make a mistake in the final 10 of this first extra time period. Ball goes out of bounds on that far sideline. Florida have weathered the first 10 minutes. Do we head to overtime number two? Still scoreless here on this Friday night from Gainesville between Florida and UCLA. Gators trying to snap a two game losing streak. Bruins trying to remain undefeated. This one coming down to the final moments. We'll step aside, get you set for the second overtime session in a scoreless match between Florida and UCLA on the Gator IMG Sports Network. Master, whether it's man-made or natural, never reopen. Yet too many owners put off their company's disaster plan because they let too many day-to-day -day things get in the way. Any fire showing from the ninth floor, second alarm being destroyed. Disasters are unpredictable, so visit ready.gov to make your company's disaster plan. Ready.gov. It's never too late to protect your business until it is. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the Ad Council. safe in the event of a real earth, and you'll be 
seen as a hero, your family, and your loved ones. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Back here in Gainesville, still no score onto the second overtime between Florida and UCLA. Number two, UCLA, 2-0. Two oh. The Gators at 2-2, two and two, dropping down to that 22nd ranking. But a win here tonight would do a lot for their confidence early. And what is an incredibly tough stretch in their schedule. But a goal here on the second 10-minute overtime period would win it. They had heroics last year against the Pac-12 team in Stanford on this very field and trying to take down number two here tonight. Number two UCLA team that was in the national title game a year ago. Well, Matt, what did you see from Florida in the first 10 minutes of overtime? More of what we've been talking about all game. Lots and lots of grit. Some mental errors. You'd expect that from both teams with the physical effort that has been put out there tonight. It's when you're physically tired, the mental thought process doesn't work quite as quickly. The message doesn't get to your feet as it should. Florida have really done a good job of playing together and for each other tonight. Monica Rodriguez, who left with a cramp, has re-entered for UCLA. So one injury tonight for Florida. Mel Montegudo played 11 minutes and has not returned. Here's Rodriguez, top of the attacking third, slides it far left side of the 18, looking for Faulkner, who squares up. Collision inside the penalty box. Ball still loose, and it's Bennett who clears it away, and Solis taps it towards the middle third. Long ball, Canales. It's J.C. Peterson. Had a very good night for the Bruins. Peterson with the left foot towards the goal mouth, and that is... Headed out, last touch, they'll say UCLA. And it was Hernandez who redirected and didn't like the call. Well, to me, I thought Hernandez actually pushed the Florida defenders in the back, so I think perhaps she got benefit, benefit of the doubt as far as the call from the official is concerned. Well, again, if nobody scores in the final eight and change, it will be a tie. No PKs until you hit postseason time. Marquise on the goal kick, arcs near side. Sent it away by Sheehan. That's a big moments in a Bruin uniform. I, say, I don't think we've really given the plaudits to Sheehan tonight. She's played a really good game in the midfield for the Bruins. There's Rodriguez out wide right. On the center off, deflected away by a falling Rachel Smith. Towards the right flank, it's J.C. Peterson. Rodriguez on the cross again, headed out by Baltrip Reyes. Played the bulk of the minutes tonight on that defensive back line. Sheehan slicing inside the 18. Betters cuts off her route and clears it away towards Brittany Bennett. Big minutes tonight for the senior Brittany Bennett, who again did not play a lot of minutes last year, started the year. Bit nicked up. Here's a shot that goes wide of the back post. Marquise was struggling with that shot coming in from Faulkner on the left wing. Gators, right from the initial kickoff in the second period, have been on their heels. When they've got possession back of the ball, they haven't been able to clear it effectively. And essentially, it's been shoved right down their throat again. It was Faulkner on that prior shot. 15 shots for the Bruins. Five for Florida. Here's Laise right to left. Plays it for Solis. Try to throttle down to collect and could it. Goes over the touchline and so you talk about the fatigue starts to settle in and it works down to your feet. We've seen that from Solis. She's not played a lot of minutes tonight so she doesn't have any excuse for that effort. She'll be really disappointed. We've seen Baltrip Reyes, Parker Roberts, and Rachel Smith all play over 100 minutes. This one played out near side. Florida will throw in. Sarah Tricoli getting set to come back in. Parker Roberts coming out. Fourth official not allowing the substitution as yet. So Tricoli has to wait to check in. Going towards Solis. 
Adaruju had a bending ball go wide of the back post in the second half. It was oh so close to giving the Gators a 1-0 lead, and then the biggest threat came from Cassidy Lindley with an empty net tapped it just wide of the left post. There is a Bruin down in their attacking half. Marley Canales, who's still down. Rodriguez with the right foot, and it's knocked away by Marquise, who then collided with the near post, but rolls towards Julia Lester. Florida in the defending third. Marquise had a nasty collision with the post. He might actually saw that ball awfully late. I thought she would have collected that ball more cleanly than she did. But the, she did the important work, and that was keep it out of the net. Florida trying to get numbers forward. Final 5.20 of the second. Here's ball trip Reyes. Towards Betters. What a great opening weekend here in Gainesville. Betters scored in the first two matches of the year. Washington and Florida Atlantic. Ball trip Reyes reverses field to Lester. Lester has Collins on the left flank. Lester. Finally gets it to Collins along the touchline. Ahead for Solis. Left of the 18 with the left foot near post. Caught by Micah. Good work there. Eaton Collins positioning. Opened things up for Solis. Solis just couldn't get her hips around to cross that in to the path of Alexander. I'd like to see the sophomore run across the face of goal a little bit more. That was the best attack for Florida in this overtime period. Now Cassidy Lindley. Joined Sarah Tricoli at the scores table, getting set to check in. Here's Rodriguez, right flank, angling in. Moves towards center. Rodriguez slips it amidst the crowd. She in plays it back to Rodriguez, who redirects near right. It's J.C. Peterson, final 4.05 for the second half. Peterson out wide. Collins goes out to defend. The left foot played in and arced out by Parker Roberts. This has been a strong, valiant effort defensively from this Florida group. Canales plays it in, but nobody home. Goes over the end line for a Florida goal kick. As Lindley and Tricoli come in, Alexander and Roberts will come out. Florida right now, they will get another opportunity. But they also have to take care of the ball and make sure that they marshal this game. At the very least, Florida want to come away with the 0-0 tie. They do not want to allow the Bruins to get the win on their field. We approach three minutes left. Here's Laiz off the service from Brittany Bennett. Laiz racing along the right flank towards the final third. Laiz with the right foot, goes back post, and Tricoli can't redirect. It will be a UCLA goal kick. How dangerous Laiz Araruju is. The defenders backed off, they gave her space. She has the ability to pick the pass. It was the right ball, the right speed. Tricoli just couldn't get on the end of the ball. Final two and a half left. Here's Athens. UCLA trying to search for their fifth win in this all-time series. Cleared out by Betters towards the middle third. And it's met by Laiz Adaruchu. Crowd imploring Florida to get upfield. Here's Lindley, who's cut off by McCullough. Almost a dangerous sequence for the Bruins, but McCullough keeps possession. Two Titan programs from two of the best conferences in the nation. Going down to the wire, Sanchez with the cross from the right back post, headed out by Reyes towards Brittany Bennett. What a wonderful header there from Ball Trip Reyes defensively. Good work from Sanchez on this near sideline to cross the ball in. It was dangerous. Ball trap Rios, though, positioning was perfect. Minute 20 left. Rodriguez shot from distance. Scooped up by Marquise, left post. 
So the Gators have one last, one last charge in them offensively. Probably not the best of passes towards Eaton Collins. Gets it back amidst the double, spins free. Brilliant move from Sarah Tricoli. Up the touchline for Solis. Final 55 seconds. Solis towards the end line with a left foot near post, and that will go out. Didn't strike it well. Sonny Dumphy comes in, Parker Roberts comes in. And UCLA trying to charge quickly with 35 seconds left. That moment all set up by Tricoli spinning free out of pressure. Long ball for Ashley Sanchez. May have gotten away with the handball, played inside the box right side. Reyes chips it out towards Rachel Smith. Smith with the right foot. Clears, pass to sliding Athens with 15 seconds left. Sanchez dumps it right side of the 18 towards Collins. Final eight seconds, Collins lofts it towards the UCLA bench with five seconds left. And we will end in a tie here in Gainesville. A valiant effort from both programs who left it all out on the field, but in the end, a scoreless tie between UCLA and Florida. Matt, what a match here tonight. Well, it's the old adage, 0-0 zero, zero ties in the game of soccer can be exciting. And this was one of those matches, end-to-end -end stuff. Great skill from both sets of players. Great commitment from both sets of players. And a fantastic result for Florida. They weathered the storm. They had their opportunities, weren't able to take any of them. UCLA had their opportunities, and they weren't able to reach the goal of Kaylin Marquise. Florida, they managed the game when they needed to, were unable to come away with the result. And there's a real feather in the cap of this program, because after last weekend, questions were being asked. A brilliant night from Kaylin Marquise in goal for the Gators. Again, UCLA had 17 shots, all coming after halftime. Five shots tonight for Florida. And both of these teams exchanging blows in a top 25 matchup. And the Gators, again, they wanted the winning result, but you'll certainly take this tonight against the number two team in the nation. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Becky Burley, if you'd have offered this to her at the beginning of the game, she probably would have snatched it out of your hand. Obviously, you're on there to compete. You're out there to win. But you're also not out there to lose. And the, so the question coming in was, can Florida fix their problems defensively? And they did that tonight. They had their moments where they were porous, but they plugged those holes quickly. They played around the ball, put numbers around the ball, and they found a way to get the job done. And that is what a mark of a good team is. Adapt to your situation and find a way to be successful. And Florida were able to do that tonight. I think Becky Burley will be very proud of her team as they huddle up in front of us to have a little talk about their performance this evening. So a nice bounce back night for the Florida Gators. Scoreless tie, your final through two overtimes between UCLA and Florida. Big thanks to those who watch on the SEC Network Plus. We come on back with our post-game coverage on the other side on the Gator IMG Sports Network. You a yellow bird?